Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen, to the Century Lithium's corporate update on Commodity TV. The feasibility study for Century Lithium's Clayton Valley Lithium project in Nevada is finally available. A three-stage production plan is planned to produce an average of 34,000 tons per annum of battery-grade lithium carbonate over the life of the mine. A patent pending chloride leach process combined with direct lithium extraction called DLE will be used and the feasibility study will be supported by more than two years of testing at the company's pilot plant. Measured and indicated resources total 1.2 billion tons of material with an average grade of 957 ppm lithium containing 1.155 million tons of lithium or 6.148 million tons of lithium carbonate equivalent LCE called. The mine life is 40 years and the proven and probable mineral reserve estimate is 287.65 million tons at an average grade of 1,149 ppm lithium for 330,000 tons of lithium or 1.759 million tons of LCE. The capital costs in phase one are $1.537 billion for a production capacity of 13,000 tons of LCE per year. In phase two, $651 million must then be spent for 28,000 tons of annual LCE production and in phase three, another $1.336 billion for 41,000 tons of annual LCE production then. It is important to note that the project expansions are to be capitalized from the project cash flow. The project has low operating costs with an average of $8,223 per ton of lithium carbonate produced or $2,766 only per ton after sale of excess sodium hydroxide. The aftertax IRR is 17.1% at $24,000 per ton lithium carbonate. The net present value is $3.01 billion after tax at an 8% discount rate and an after tax internal rate of return an IRR of 70.1% as set using the, those price assumptions of $24,000 per ton for lithium carbonate and $600 for sodium hydroxide. Bill Willoughby, the CEO, said Century Lithium is proud to present its feasibility study. The study demonstrates that our project has solid economics enabled by our unique chlor, alkali and DLE processes. Our process technology has been developed through many trials and successes at our Amagosa Valley pilot plant. As one of the few lithium-focused pilot plants in North America, we continue to operate safely and recently passed the two-year testing phase. The data obtained to date supports the feasibility study and we continue to test various conditions and ideas to improve our process flow, said Bill Willoughby, the CEO. With the feasibility study complete, the company will now focus on engineering and permitting. The company is simultaneously in discussions with government agencies, strategic partners and other interested parties to advance the financing of the project and maximize value for the company's shareholders as reflected in the feasibility study. Unfortunately, the share price has reacted negatively to the study. However, we consider this to be exaggerated as one thing is clear. This is lithium production in the heart of the USA in the future, meaning without dependence on China. This should also help the project massively in terms of financing through subsidies. The chart has now found a double bottom. If the price turns upwards further, the first target price would be 150 to 175 Canadian dollars. I'm in. You can also find all the information on our Commodity TV app in German and English, as well as everything to do with commodities. We look forward to your like and more importantly, please subscribe to our TV channel. Please note the disclaimer. The shares discussed are part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificates and I'm a shareholder in the company. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.